Okay, let's do this. Right now? Um, yeah. What do you want? To, like, get to know each other first? I mean, kind of. Um, I'm not, like, really interested in, like, your personal life. I thought you were into me. No. I'm just, like, ovulating and everyone else is, like, busy. Okay, buddy, it's full time. So you don't want to date me? No. God, no. You just want to use me? Yeah. All right. That's kind of hot. No strings attached. On your tampon? It's a, it's just like a string free tampon. What? It's a special one, like made for sex. You're an idiot. How am I supposed to know anything about tampons? I just meant like that you're not allowed to catch feelings. This is like purely transactional. I will be sure to make a big successful transaction. You've like done this before, right? Like with someone else? Sure. Meet Martha and Yolinda. I spend a lot of time with them. Uh, honestly, I don't want to know. I don't really care. Let's just, like, get on with it. All right. Come sit. So, Faye, do you have lunch plans? Um, no, I don't think so. Do you want to sit with me at lunch? Us. Do you want to sit with us? Sure, that would be beautiful. I'd love to get to know you guys better. Kai, will you join me too? Us! I wouldn't miss it. Wait, I want to have lunch. Okay, then have lunch. No one's stopping you. No, I want to, like, have lunch with you guys. We have plans. Shall we? The table can only fit five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. You're pregnant and you have a woba, baby. Oh, children ruin everything. I'm sure we could make room for you and your children. Oh, yeah, we could. Emma, can you shut your baby up? If I could, I like blue. Baby star, it's quiet time now. Will you marry me or sleep with me? Either is great. <laughs> you, boy in the back, who are you? Casey? I'm Casey. She looks terrible. All right, great. No interesting facts. Let's move on. Oh, I have some interesting facts about Casey. Miss Watson, sit down. He's a c Oh, she's a liar. She's manipulative. She's a homewrecker. Oh, wow. She's ugly. She kissed my girlfriend. And she thinks she runs this school, when in reality, everyone hates her. Not again. Are you finished? Far from it. She... Yes, she's finished. Babe, sit down. I hate you! No! No, you, like, woke up, Star. I'm gonna have to take the whole custody. Who are you calling? My psychiatrist. Good. Don't even look at me! What do you mean he doesn't work there anymore? The whole business shut down? I'm Carlos, and I'm about to be a dad. It's not your baby! But we slept together! I sleep with, like, a lot of people! Well, we didn't use protection! I never do! Well, great, I probably have herpes! I have herpes! You can't get herpes if you've never had physical contact with someone! Yes, you can, if it's passed from birth! You got herpes from being born? Yes! The first thing I knew in this life was herpes! Does it hurt? <sighs> You're insufferable! That's enough! I am not your sex ed teacher or your mother. You're a little old to be our mother. More like great grandmother. <laughs> Gerald, it's your turn. When you just said my name, you took all the fun out of it. Just go. I'm Gerald and I have herpes. The school is quite entertaining. <laughs> this isn't a brothel. <laughs> Hi, what? Hi guys, do you like remember me? Of course, we only met just 10 minutes ago, silly. I know, I'm stupid. I think you're very intelligent. Not really. Hi Faye. Hi Faye. Hi Kai. Hi Kai. All right, since it's the first day of school and we have new students, let's go around the room and introduce ourselves. Say your name and an interesting fact about yourself. I'll go first. Um, my name is JJ and I'm a lesbian and I like horses and um, I used to be a nerd and have no friends, but now I'm popular. And one um, interesting fact. That was five and none of them were interesting. Next. Hi, I'm Zoe and um, my ponytail is as tight as my.
I'm going into retirement. Aren't you a little old for that? I'm Carlos, and I'm about to be a dad. It's not your baby. You, boy in the back, who are you? Casey? I'm Casey. She looks terrible. All right, great. No interesting facts. Let's move on. Oh, I have some interesting facts about Casey. Miss Watson, sit down. She's a c Joey, sit down. She's a liar. She's manipulative. She's a homewrecker. Oh, wow. She's ugly. She kissed my girlfriend. And she thinks she runs this school, when in reality, everyone hates her. Not again. Are you finished? Far from it. She... Yes, she's finished. Babe, sit down. I hate you! No! No, you like woke up star! I'm gonna have to take the whole custody. Ah! Who are you calling? My psychiatrist. Good. Don't even look at me! What do you mean he doesn't work there anymore? The whole business shut down? I can't believe we're juniors and we're still riding the bus. My parents won't take me for my driving test. Never mind buy me a car. And I've taken mine seven times and failed. They banned me from taking it again for two years. Can they do that? They can when you hit a pedestrian. You hit a pedestrian? She was fine. God, I'm surprised they only banned you for two years. We're in America. What do you expect? Justice is never served. This year is already off to a great start. I am hot, I am cool, and my chewy has been popped. How does it feel not being a virgin anymore? Honestly, not much different. Also, JJ, technically, your cherry hasn't been popped. What do you mean? Well, we didn't do anything to pop it. Huh? It's a metaphor for like, and we did more like, you know, I'm not following. We didn't do anything internal. So? So, we didn't pop your cherry. So I'm still a virgin? Depends on what your definition of sex is. Excuse me, sorry. Move, I am with child. Actually, I am with two childs. You're seriously not gonna like move for an expectant mother? <laughs> the lack of chivalry. Oh god, I don't want to be sitting on this bus. That's so embarrassing. I mean, Emma is also on the bus, so she probably understands our struggles. Did she have her baby already? Go away. Excuse me. I think that's a doll. Does she think it's real? She can't be that dumb. Oh my god, is no one, like, gonna move for me? She probably thinks it's real. That's kind of sad. It must be difficult being that stupid. We should probably just play along. We don't want to make her feel bad. Right. Oh, here we go. Oh. Emma! Good to see you. Oh, hey guys. I see you had your baby. A what? And no, this is like a doll, obviously. See, do you like need to get your eyes checked? Oh, okay, good. You are aware it's a doll. And do you guys like think I'm stupid? No. No, definitely not. This baby in here is like real, but my mom like wants me to get an abortion, but I like don't want to. So why do you have the doll? Oh, right, sorry. I forgot what we were talking about. This pregnancy is like a lot on me. Totally get it. And no, you don't. You're not like pregnant. You're totally right. I have no idea what you're going through. I- I shouldn't pretend to understand your struggles. Nobody like gets it. It sucks being like 16 and pregnant and not knowing who like the baby daddy is. And I have to carry on this stupid fake baby to prove to my mother that I don't like need an abortion and that I'm capable of being a good mother. I like knew nothing about babies or motherhood. Can you hold her? Sure. I'm so glad I'm a lesbian so I don't have to worry about this happening accidentally. Now that I'm sexually active. Oh, you like lost your virginity? I think. Congratulations, that's like amazing. Or like, I'm so sorry to hear that. You never like really know which one it is. Now that I'm sexually active. Oh, you like lost your virginity? I think. Congratulations, that's like amazing. Or like, I'm so sorry to hear that. You never like really know which one it is. Who was it? Well, hopefully me, because we're girlfriends. I mean, you like never know. I lost my virginity to like my boyfriend at the time's brother. He was like not very happy. The boyfriend or the brother? Um, like obviously the boyfriend. Why would the brother be unhappy? He like got to f me. So true. <laughs> I miss him. The boyfriend? <laughs> the brother. 
water. Well, maybe you guys could rekindle things. No, they like, they like moved to Switzerland and I'm literally pregnant with someone else's baby. Yeah, that would be difficult. <laughs> Why are you upset? Because I am pregnant. My hormones are going crazy. I don't know whether I'm like sad, hungry, or horny, or all three. I don't want kids. <laughs> pregnant my hormones are going crazy i don't know whether i'm like sad hungry or horny or all three i don't want kids <laughs> well you don't want this thing it's kind of cute no uh, oh, sir i am like pregnant you're going to cause me to have a miscarriage can you like learn how to drive i hate this freaking bus shame you failed your driver's test too well welcome to the club of the juniors who still take the bus it's just us twee. Oh my god, no. I'm not like a loser. And I like totally passed my driver's test. But I'm pregnant. I'm not like supposed to be driving. I don't think that's... Is that a thing? I don't think so. I think you can drive them. And no, I can't. That's a D-U-P. Driving under pregnancy. It's a thing. It's not. What? Well, it like should be. I am no more level-headed than like someone under the influence of alcohol. My mood swings make me want to just like... You know. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're here. First day of junior year. Governor Hunt. I speak for yourself. Here's your big baby back. Oh, f I like don't want her. I can hold her for the day if you want. Oh, please, no. I really don't want to, though. And no, my mom like put a tracking device in her. She'll like know. Emma, um, could we just like hide behind you walking off? I don't really want people to know that we took the bus. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah, just stay behind me. I don't care. When you're 16 and pregnant in high school and you don't know, like, who the dad is, there's really not much more to possibly feel shame about. Can I, like, walk with you guys? I need some, like, emotional support. I'm, like, going through a lot. Yeah, of course. As long as you don't make me hold that thing. You're a good friend. I'm glad we can call ourselves friends now, since I spent all of freshman year being in love with you. And what? 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 You guys were a thing? I like don't know. I have a bad memory. I can't even remember who my baby daddy is. You guys were a thing? I like don't know. I have a bad memory. I can't even remember who my baby daddy is. No, no, we didn't. It never became a thing. You had a crush on me for like over a year. I mean, I think it was more than a crush. It consumed all of my time, energy, and dreams. I didn't know this, and I don't want to know this. Why didn't you ever like tell me? Everyone knew. I didn't. I didn't. Literally the whole school knew. I assumed you didn't like me back. I didn't even like think about it. So are you saying I had a chance? I feel like I should like be careful of like how I answer. Your girlfriend's like right there. She's fine. She's not jealous. We're not toxic like that. I am jealous and I am toxic like that. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Why don't you just go be with Emma then since I'm your second choice? Guys, I can't do this. I like have the hormones. <laughs> oh, look, you're upsetting star. Hush, baby star. Please shut up. Why don't you just go be with Emma then, since I'm your second choice? Guys, I can't do this. I, like, have the hormones. Oh, look, you're upsetting star. Hush, baby star. Please shut up. I don't want to be with Emma. I love you. Hush, baby star. Don't say a word. Maybe because Emma didn't love you back. No. Emma, you something. I don't have any money. But she clearly does. So why don't you go run off with her and her baby and father her child? Please shut up. Please stop. She clearly needs help anyway. I don't need help. And I want you guys to like stop fighting. I don't want to date JJ. I'm like only bisexual sexually. I need a man. What am I saying? I don't need a man. I am an independent woman and mother. And I can do this alone. I love you. You're my first choice. Suck to the hand. Who am I like kidding? I do need a man. I like can't do this alone. Will you please shut up? That's literally all I think about. That's all you think about? Do you guys like have to do this in front of me while I'm like clearly having a crisis? I don't even notice anyone else. Who are they? I'm all you think about. Do you guys like have to do this in front of me while I'm like clearly having a crisis? I don't even notice anyone else. Who are they? I'm 
Faye, and this is my twin brother, Kai. I'm Kai. We just moved here from California. Wow, that's a firm grip. Strong fingers. <laughs> Thank you. I do finger curls. It's important to do them to have a strong, manly handshake. And for other things. Do you, like, do the finger curls too? Of course. My phone, I got my phone, I got my phone. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Okay, one more. Say cheese. One, two, three. <laughs> it was a video. It was a video. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. One. Do you, like, do the finger curls too? Of course. What are you looking for? I'm, like, looking for the hole in the ceiling when you guys, like, fell down from, like, heaven. I don't see a hole. I like her. What are your names? Zoe. JJ Johnson. I have a foam handshake too. You do? I'm a lesbian. I don't like to label myself. I like to live freely and openly and let things come as they will. Me too. I thought you were bisexual. I'm bisexual, all sexual. Call it like whatever you want. I like, I like don't know. I don't even like know which one of you I'm like more into. It's like crazy. <laughs> Are you with a child? Yeah, I am pregnant. That's beautiful. I cannot wait to meet the lovely soul that you create. Okay. <coughs> and not now. It's not real. That's hard. Yeah, I like definitely am. Are, are you? Shut up. Shut up. Please shut up. That's quite piercing. That's terrible. I'm sorry, like no matter what I do, it doesn't stop. Try hitting it against the locker harder. Please. Okay. I don't like it. Oh my god, like why won't you stop crying? That wasn't hard enough. It's made me like want the portion. Here, let me try. I'm great with babies. It's not a real baby, and it literally doesn't stop no matter what I do. But like, go for it. It made me like want the portion. Here, let me try. I'm great with babies. It's not a real baby, and it literally doesn't stop no matter what I do. But like, go for it. what is real and what is not, if any line at all. You're so hot. Here now, we must be going. But you beautiful people, please point us in the direction of Principal Aspen's office. We would love to get enrolled into this lovely educational institution. I don't know. See you around. Either my like water just like broke or my pants are like soaked with something else. They were so cool. They were cool. <laughs> No! I'm in the middle of something. Good morning, Principal Asman. I am so sorry to interrupt you hard at work. We are new students and we would like to get enrolled. Get up. Oh! Oh! All right, I gotta deal with this. Get back to cleaning the third floor bathroom. I'm not the janitor. You're not? Oh, I have him booked for Wednesday. Wait, I don't have anything down for today. Who are you? I'm the new PE teacher. You pulled me out of my class and said there was a leak. I don't know anything about plumbing, but this is my first day and I didn't want to get fired already. Yeah, I can't remember if I meant that there was a leak like literally or like figuratively. Well, you almost fixed one of them until we were rudely interrupted. I truly apologize. We can go. Faye, we need to get enrolled. The third floor is flooding! I guess it was literal. All right, get back to work. 
I'll find you later. All right, get back to work. I'll find you later. To my PE class or to fix the leak? I don't know. I don't care. Just do something. I'm not paying you to just sit here and go down on me unsuccessfully. Yes, ma'am. But respectfully, you're not paying me at all. I'm not? You said that I had to work a semester for free to prove myself. She's such a girl boss. What kind of idiot would take that job? Nowhere else would hire me. Well, God, I wonder why. You're pathetic. I'm not supposed to be within 300 feet of a school. Go do something. Sorry. But come back at 2.15. Right. We have unfinished business. Doesn't the school day end at 3? So? It's very nice to meet you. I am Faye, and this is my twin brother, Kai. Ma'am, if you don't mind me asking, why are you wearing a club dress? Every day is a day to slay. So why are you here? We just moved here. Do you want an award? No, ma'am. We would just like to be enrolled. Ugh, that's a lot of paperwork. We would just like to be enrolled. Ugh, that's a lot of paperwork. And there's two of you, so double the paperwork. Sorry, the school's full. I don't want to be homeschooled. Ma'am, this is the only high school in the town. We don't really have much of a choice. Ugh, fine, just pick whatever class you want. Okay, that works. We can make our own schedule. Can we see the course list? No. Walk down the hall, pick a door that speaks to you, go inside the classroom, sit down, and maybe learn something. But how will we know if that class is appropriate for our grade? Oh my God, do I have to do everything? I mean, if there is someone else we can speak no. to. I am the principal. I am in charge. Come with me. A right, super quick tour. That is where all the kids do drugs. That is where I lost my virginity. Um, that's where all the weird kids hang out. Uh, oh, that's a great drinking spot over there. Oh, that's where all the kids that don't have any friends sit to eat lunch. Oh, and the fourth floor janitor's closet. Great hookup spot. No one ever goes in there. Um, any other questions? It's so beautiful that you're creating such a free, open space for young people to develop. Now, it is very important that this date goes well. Why? Because you need to convert. To Christianity? No. To heterosexuality. Uh, why is it okay for you to cheat on mom and sleep with multiple women at the same time, but it's not okay for me to love one singular woman? Because men get to do whatever they want. This is how the world runs. Get used to it. And what if the day doesn't go well? Camp. Oh, wait, that sounds pretty fun. Like, with swimming and quaffs and stuff? Conversion camp. All summer long. If I can't convert you... They can, but it's very expensive and I don't want to pay for it. But sometimes they have scholarship programs if I can prove that you're an above and beyond homo. You'd probably get it. I don't want to go to conversion camp. Then this date better go well. How do you even know this boy? Um, he's one of my, my friend's kids. I don't know much about him, but he's a boy and that'll do for me. By friend? You mean bimbo? Are you sure he's not your kid too? Yes. I'm like 60% sure. So potentially dating my biological brother and cheating on people is still better than me being gay. Hmm, got it. Makes a lot of sense. That is enough of your attitude. I'll pick you up in a few hours. Act straight. Are you sure he's not your kid too? Yes. I'm like 60% sure. So potentially dating my biological brother and cheating on people is still better than me being gay. Hmm, got it. Makes a lot of sense. That is enough of your attitude. I'll pick you up in a few hours. Act straight. Wow, your dad is actually worse than mine. Mm -hmm. Zoe, I can't do this. I'm a waging lesbian. I don't even know how to go on a date with a boy, never mind pretend I'm actually into them. Baby, you've got this. I've been on so many dates with boys. I'm going to be a couple booths down, and I'm going to be in your ear the whole time telling you what to say. You're going to be fine. Okay, maybe I'll get lucky and he won't show up. How long have we been waiting? Hello? Zoe? Hello? Can you hear me? JJ? Oh my god, hi! I didn't realize I called you. What? I'm in a restaurant. I, I know, I'm right behind you. Oh my god, hi! Did you forget about the plan? Hi, what's going on? I broke my leg at gym. You broke your leg at gym, okay. Yeah. You see that freezer? Go get an ice pack. Girl, look. Just go get the ice pack. It will help you, I promise. Can you just call my mom? No, no, no. Just get the ice pack. It's okay. Girl, just call my no, mom. No, I promise you it would help you. Girl, no. No, but I'm saying it will help you. Did you forget about the plan? The plan? The plan. Plan. Plan? Oh my god. Plan B? Was I supposed to take it? 
Oh my God, has it been more than 72 hours? No, Zoe. Remember, my dad is making me go on a date with a boy and you're supposed to help me. Oh, yeah. I was wondering why I was sitting here alone. I don't do that. I'm not a loser. I ate lunch every day alone before I had friends. And that's so good for the mind and soul. Incoming. I think this is him. Stay focused. I need you. Hello. You must be JJ. It's a pleasure to meet you. You are much more gorgeous than I anticipated. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You must have the wrong girl. Trust. I apologize for the bother. Maybe you're looking for that girl down there. She's sitting alone and looks like she's waiting for someone. All right. Good heavens. That is a bit of a downgrade. I think we look a lot alike, actually. Not even a little bit. You are much more attractive. But girls don't typically want to date me, so I will accept what I can. You are much more attractive. But girls don't typically want to date me, so I will accept what I can. Okay, bye. Pretty warning, this guy is a total douche, but like also such a loser. Very weird combination. Oh, quite. Hello, you must be JJ. It is a pleasure to meet you. You are very average looking. Thanks. Are you going to ask me my name or do you not care? Ask his name. No kidding. What's your name? Ebenezer Muriel Malarkey. But you can call me by my first name. Ebenezer. Yeah, that's so much better. Tell him you like his name. I like your name. Thank you. Would you like to hear the origin of it? No. Yes, you do. I mean, no way I don't. Wonderful. So my last name, of course, was passed down many generations from my Irish ancestors. According to the Oxford Dictionary, it also means meaningless or nonsense. But that definition does not accurately depict my character. So my last name, of course, was passed down many generations from my Irish ancestors. According to the Oxford Dictionary, it also means meaningless or nonsense. But that definition does not accurately depict my character. Are you sure? Be nicer. I know he's a loser, but just tap into your acting skills, JJ. I mean, are you sure? I, I can't imagine someone as splendid as you could have a name with such a negative definition. Thank you. I don't let it define me. As for my middle name, Muriel, I was named after my great aunt, Muriel, who served our country. She was in the military? No, she was a traveling lunch lady. She served our country. What? What a lovely lady to be named after. I think so. Seem more interested. Ask him the origin of his first name. So what about Ebenezer? With such a bold name like that, it must have an interesting origin story. No, my parents just liked the name. I can't imagine why. <coughs> not. I, I can't imagine why not. Nor can I. Ask him the origin of his first name. So what, what about Ebenezer? With such a bold name like that, it must have an interesting origin story. No, my parents just liked the name. I can't imagine why. <coughs> not. I, I can't imagine why not. Nor can I. Shall we investigate the menu? Wow, he's really not going to ask you about your name? I hate boys. Tell him about your name anyway. Do you want to hear the origin of my name? It would be impolite if I said no. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to take that as a yes. So, um, my name is JJ Johnson. And um JJ actually stands for Johnson and Johnson, the family company and um one of the creators of the COVID vaccine. So, um my full name is Johnson and Johnson Johnson. That's a dreadfully terrible name. Thanks. My parents aren't very creative. I would like to supply my body of some nourishment now. What happened to the original plot of the movie? I would like to supply my body of some nourishment now. Okay. Okay, now let him order for you. It makes them feel manly. Can you order for me? Oh, certainly. I apologize. I did not acquire that you were incapable of reading. I can read. I am befuddled why you would desire me to order for you then. Um... Chivalry. Chivalry. I am a feminist. God damn, I'm gonna be helpless here. Please do your best, I am so lost. Fear not, I will do my best. Huh? I will order you something that I suspect would be adequate. Okay. What do you like to do for fun? What do you like to do for fun? Well, yeah, this girl's been talking to herself for like 30 minutes. That sounds awful. I think she's schizophrenic. Okay, where do you go to school? She like really believes someone's in the booth across from her. Oh, I hate that school. My ex goes there. 
yeah, the customers are starting to get worried. All right, I'll, I'll go talk to her. Hello, miss. Can I get you any? No! Oh, sorry. Yeah, the customers are starting to get worried. What do you like to do for fun? All right, I'll, I'll go talk to her. Hello, miss. Can I get you any? No! Oh, sorry. You're ordering me a house salad with no dressing? It appears to me that you are trying to lose weight. No. My mistake. A house salad with no dressing? Okay, one house salad with no dressing. What? No! No! No, no what? You want a double cheeseburger. I want a double cheeseburger. Um... Uh, no, I don't want a double cheeseburger, but I'll get you a double cheeseburger. I don't want a double cheeseburger. I, I don't want a double cheeseburger. Okay, what do you want? What do I want? What do I want? I believe that is what we are trying to figure out. What do you want? Sorry, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I had a feeling. What? Do you... do you see someone there? What? <sighs> You're talking to a friend, aren't you? Yeah, how did, how did you know? <sighs> My mother had schizophrenia. I'm sorry to hear that, but what does that have to do with me? You're talking to a friend, aren't you? Yeah, how did, how did you know? <sighs> My mother had schizophrenia. I'm sorry to hear that, but what does that have to do with me? Oh, honey, we need to get you some help. With what? Just come with me. I'm going to help you. No, I can't leave my friend. Honey, your friend isn't real. It's okay. You can leave them. My friend is real. She's sitting right there. Sweetheart, nobody can see her except you. Come on. Are you enjoying your meal? Zoe, am I enjoying my meal? Zoe, are you there? What, what was the question? Are you enjoying your meal? Um, no. Drought, I apologize. Would you like something else? I mean, no, I like it. It's, it's good. Splendid. Oh, I believe your father is arriving to pick you up in just a few moments. It's good. Splendid. Oh, I believe your father is arriving to pick you up in just a few moments. How do you know that? He arranged this date, after all. What? I just, I didn't realize you two were so close. Are we all set over here? Indeed. Um, excuse me? Um, what happened to the girl that was in that table over there? Poor thing was yelling to herself all evening. I'm very familiar with schizophrenia, don't worry, I took her to get some help. What? Okay, so will that be one check or two? One. Two. I believe in building up and encouraging young women to be strong and financially independent. I would prefer if you paid for your own meal. I guess too. Right. So, um, are you going to tell my dad that this date went well? I suppose it was splendid. I would take great pleasure in seeing you once again. Perhaps next time we can try fornication. Okay, I made it out. I had to tell Mrs. Mabubi that I was about to sh my pants, so she'd let me leave. Okay, I'm out too. I told my teacher I just got my period, and he's a man, so anytime you mention anything about the female anatomy, they just get really uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure straight men don't even actually like women. So true. Meet at our usual makeout spot? Duh. <gasps> Baby! I missed you. Oh my god, I know. It's been a whole 18 minutes. You come here now. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, I guess we're going down. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa. Yeah? I'm feeling something. Oh, your stomach really does hurt? No. A little lower. It hurts? No. Oh, me too. I get that feeling a lot. Like, every five minutes. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I do. No, this isn't the white setting. What do you mean? What in school? There's no privacy. And there's way too many lights. And there's no candles or rose petals. Um, I'm sure there's a light switch around here somewhere. Candles? Oh, I'm pretty sure Principal Aspen has one on her desk. I can go ask her to borrow it. Rose petals? Um, oh, there might be some in the dumpster left over from Valentine's Day. This is not romantic. Yeah, you're right. It'd still be a lot nicer than my first time, though. That's really sad, Zoe. Eh, 
I gave in to temptation. Well, I'd say I'm like this close to. I like those odds. But I think I value myself a little more than this. Are you saying I don't value myself? Um, I didn't really mean to say that, but I guess that's what I did imply. Yes. That's so mean to say to your girlfriend. I mean, we both know it's true. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. What? No. I, that was really wrong of me to say. I, I'm really sorry. What? I'm completely in the wrong. Please forgive me. You're taking accountability for your actions and not blaming it on me? Nobody's ever done that before. Yeah, I'm not toxic. I can admit when I'm wrong. I've never been this attracted to someone in my life. The bare minimum is sexy. Kiss me. I need your lips. That was easy. Mm -hmm. I love this. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Zoe? Yeah, say my name. Zoe. Again? No, I'm trying to talk to you. Oh. Um... I do want to do it. Yay! I knew you'd get over the musty stairwell. No, I still don't want to do it in the musty stairwell. Oh. But we should do it. Soon. Tonight? Too soon. This evening? That is sooner than tonight. Okay. We should do it. Soon. Tonight? Too soon. This evening? That is sooner than tonight. Okay. Okay, I'm not good at planning, so why don't you tell me? Okay. Um, let me look at my Google Calendar. Okay. Okay. Monday, I have school. Tuesday, I have school. Wednesday, I have school. Um, Thursday, I have school. Friday, you have school? No, it's a holiday. Oh, perfect. What about then? I have plans with my family for the holiday. Saturday? Saturday, I watch TV with my dad. What? After? It's usually an all-day thing. Sunday? Homework. JJ, if you don't want to, it's okay. No, I do want to. I'm just... I'm nervous. Well, I have a lot of experience, so you don't have to be nervous. That makes me more nervous. I'm gonna look like a chump. But if I already know you're inexperienced, my expectations are not gonna be high. But if I already know you're inexperienced, my expectations are not gonna be high. This is super confidence boosting. Why don't you go home and do some... research? Research? Research. Research? Research. Oh, that kind of research. Um, hmm. I've never watched research before. Never? I've watched a lot of research. I've researched research. I've done research. I've made my own research. I even shared my research with multiple others at the same time. Okay, that's a lot of things. I think the very least I can do is watch the research. I believe in you. Wait, what what genre of research? Um, please just start with something basic. You're gonna get scared. Basic research. Okay. And then I'll be ready? Probably not. Okay, I'm giving myself a deadline. What I Okay, I'm giving myself a deadline. What are you doing on May 18th? I guess you. Okay, that's it. My flower is getting deflowered on May 18th. Please never say that again. My flower is getting deflowered on May 18th. Gerald, what are you doing? I had to go to the bathroom. What is happening to your flower on May 18th? Um, deflowering? Yeah, I did hear that right. You probably shouldn't be having sex before marriage or with a girl. That's lesbianism. Yeah, I'm a lesbian. That's disgusting. Well, so are your constant sinus infections. You're just jealous that girls like JJ and not you. Yeah. Why are you not leaving? I want to watch you guys make out. You're not seeing us kiss. I already did earlier. I've been down here for 20 minutes. What was that? Wait, I heard it too. Oh my god, did someone else find out about our secret makeup spot? Wait, they're in here. It's probably Emma getting even more pregnant. Should we open it? It would be good for my research. 
Excuse me, Mrs. Ashman and the janitor. <laughs> Girls, this is not what it looks like. It looks like you're cleaning Mrs. Ashman's pipes. No, I came in here because I heard mice. And I was just here in my closet awaiting a maintenance issue. The maintenance issue came to you. If you could excuse us now, I have to go back to um, finding the source of this mouse sound. Yeah, it's probably coming from her. Goodbye. They couldn't have waited like 10 seconds for us to walk away. Well, if Mrs. Ashman can do it, so can I. I'm going to a cider mill today and I think my sister is going to be the one who takes the longest to get ready. Okay, I'm turning on my curling iron. I don't even know how to curl hair, but we're gonna try it is so cold in my house right now like i love fall but like i am freezing right now honestly i have a meltdown about my hair i'm so bad with doing it like and if it doesn't look right i'm gonna cry okay here's what we got going on i definitely am not doing something right but we're just gonna do the whole head and i'll come back Okay, I pinned back my hair, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna brush it out later, but let's get the makeup going. I have my base, so I just need to do like my eyebrows and stuff like that. I think for my makeup, to make it like a little bit like, I don't know, more bold, I'm gonna do eyeliner today. I'm not gonna wing them though, just like simple eyeliner to make my eyes pop. I'm thinking about my outfit, and I got this brown sweater from Target yesterday, if you guys watched my haul. But I don't know how I feel about it. I might end up just wearing like a white sweater with my Zara like vest. Have you guys been watching the drama with that Isaiah girl and Kylie, I think their names are? It was entertaining, but I think there's definitely both in the wrong, but I think the girl, I think she's mainly wrong. Like, yes, I get his mom is totally in the wrong, but it didn't seem like that boy didn't want to change for her. He did. He just, oh, I need to do eyeliner. I'm getting distracted. It's not like he didn't try for her, but it's also, there's a lot more into it than like obviously like i don't know i'm not talking about it forget i said it this video is getting too long so i'm just gonna do my eye makeup i'm doing eyeliner right now and i'll be back okay here's the makeup i'm gonna have to do a lippy but let's work these curls out and hope they look right all right i put powder in my hair so that's why it looks bad but i think it's gonna look good let's pick out an outfit okay this is my vision zara jeans this brown sweater from target and these target little booties I don't know how I feel about the outfit. So I like the sweater a lot. I changed my jeans to wide leg jeans just so they'll go over the boots instead of like scrunched in the boots. But I don't know. I think the bottom half is missing something. Okay, I'm back to the Zara jeans with the sweater. It's either these little heel booties or like these booties. But I'm just going to bring both and ask my sister. Okay, this is the OOTD. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Alright, gotta go. I feel cute. It's cute, right? Hmm. What you doing? Seducing you. You interrupted. I need to start over. Oh, sorry. Is it walking? Mm-hmm. I feel seduced. Oh. Mm. Wow. Do you like that? <laughs> I love it. What happened? Um, what do I do now? You can kiss me. Ugh. Or not. No, it's just, we always make out. Okay, we can skip to it. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, we can skip to it. Are you sure you're ready? I think. I did a ton of research. I think I'm prepared. This isn't a test. Yes, it is. This is the ultimate test to our relationship. If you can't have good sex with your partner, our relationship will never last. Okay, well now I'm nervous. Shame. What if it's terrible? I'm not terrible. I've done this a lot. I have not. Ever. Baby, it's kind of unrealistic to assume it's going to be life-changing your first time. Especially when you don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. I told you I studied. From what? Wikipedia? Uh. 
No. I did more visual learning. Like photos? No. Okay. Well, what kind did you study from? Um, the vanilla ones. You know, just the man and woman doing the basics. JJ. What? Why would... What? We're both girls. Yeah, no shit. And you only watch straight videos. We're both girls. Yeah, no shit. And you only watch straight videos. Oh. Well, shit. That's not helpful in this situation. No, it's really not. I can't do any of those things I studied. Nope. Oh, man. Do you just want to wait and take more time to study the right material? No, I can't wait any longer. I'm just going to go with my natural instincts. Okay. My natural instincts are not guiding me. Come here. Okay. Okay, which one do you want to try first? Do you have a collection? I don't know, can I see them? Uh, probably the smallest. I meant top or bottom. Oh. Um. Do you want me to top first? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Then I can just copy whatever you do after. Show me the way. Okay, lay down. One of the benefits to always having my hair up is that I'm always ready to give some head. This is really happening. It's time. How's that? Um, a little left. No, my left. Actually, no. Go back to the white. Lower. Lower. Oh, no. Actually, higher. <sighs> no, that's too direct. Hmm, that's better. Zoe, honey, what do you want for dinner? Where does she run off to? Are you sitting here by yourself? Yes. Well, where does she run off to? Um, the library. What now? The library? Mm-hmm. Yo! Yeah. She just needed to get a book for, um, a research paper. Mm-hmm. Is she feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah! Are you feeling alright? Yep. I'm feeling good. Alright, well, what do you want for dinner? Can we talk about this later? Ah! No, honey, I need to order it now. May mom gets cranky if she don't eat by 4 p.m. I'm not hungry. Alright, well, what do you think Zoe wants? <sighs> I'm not really sure! We don't yell at people in this household, hun. I'm so sorry. Are we going to eat dinner? Where is Zoe? I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see until she comes in. I refuse to believe that he has a wife. Like, why would he take me out on a date? That's so grimy. Did he really think that I wouldn't find out? I guess. I don't know. Well, update me. I'm really busy right now. I gotta go. What? No. How am I supposed to know what she looks like? Oh, trust me. You'll know. Hi. Good afternoon. Can I just please get a table for one? Hi. Just for one? Yeah, sure. Follow me. Yeah, the kiddos are with my mom. I thought I'd come in and see my husband. <laughs> okay, just right this way. Okay, here's your table. Go ahead, have a seat, and your waitress will be right over. Thank you so much. Um, Do you actually mind going in the back and telling my husband that I'm here? His name's Jason? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't mind at all. Absolutely. I'll go tell him right now. And your name? Just tell him Jen's here. Okay, sure. <clears throat> hey, Jason? Jen's here? Yeah, that's going to be for table two. Really? You thought I wasn't gonna find out? I can expect- So what time are we doing dinner on Thursday? Around six. Okay, that's unfortunately not gonna work for me. I need an exact time. Like 6.30. Yeah, that's still not gonna work. I just don't really love the uncertainty with you using the word like. Definitely 6.30. Okay, perfect. That works for me. Have we had a chance to look over like menus and stuff? What about parking? No, I know Thursday's a week away, but I feel like we should just start planning now. So what time is everyone leaving their houses? I'm thinking of leaving my house around like 5.45, even though it's only a 10 minute drive. I just really want to make sure I get there early and like settle in, take like a second to just like sit in my car and like get ready for the dinner and then get in the restaurant and really like soak in the environment. Also want to make sure I have enough time to park my car. You know, I'm not good at parking. So that usually takes me about like seven minutes to do so yeah i'll do that like i said i already google maps it so i'll just send you a picture of exactly where my car is parked so you can park either next to me or find different parking um but i will just send you like a street view just so you know where you're going no i know you've been there before but i feel like you know just like a refresher is good
that shirt that you were wearing in your Instagram picture is really cute. The one that you just posted. Um, do you know where that shirt's from? Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's actually from Urban. Um, sorry, not to, like, be weird or bring this up, but I can't help it. I've just been, like, noticing this really weird pattern that you've been doing where you don't like my Instagram pictures or comment under them, but I know that you see them. So, is there, like, a reasoning behind that or do you just forget or what do you mean? I'm confused. I mean, what do you mean? Like, what is there to be confused about? Why don't you like my Instagram pictures or comment under them? When I immediately comment under yours the second that you post them and I look like your biggest fan in the comments. Sorry. So you're saying you want me to go like and comment your Instagram picture? You could have just asked. Well, it's almost like I shouldn't have to ask you. You know what I mean? Like, you're my friend. Or at least I thought you were. So I would assume that you would just like want to do that. You're being so dramatic right now. I literally don't get it. I just wanted to know where your top was from. And I'm not just speaking for myself. I'm speaking for all men out here that are, you know, currently single and dating. Um, we prefer a woman who has a very low body count. Preferably under three. And even then, I feel like three might be pushing it. Um, you have to be like a 10 out of 10 for me to even consider dating you if your body count is three. Yeah, like I said, I would prefer it to be zero, but, you know, nowadays with these women, with these types of women, um, that is just, that is very rare. That's a rare gem to find. What's my body count? Oh, wow. Um, whew. Yeah, I really gotta think about that. I mean, I don't even know. I stopped counting after 750, and that was like three years ago. So, we should be up in the 2500s now. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, type shit. But, like, how else am I supposed to find the one? You know, I'm a guy. It's totally different. It's totally different. Like, not even on the same level. The women are just, like, they just, like, aren't classy anymore. You know, you just can't find a respectable, classy lady. Just, like, thought. All right, countries, how many soldiers did your country deploy in World War I? Hey, even a little can be a lot sometimes. Well, you know what? That wouldn't have happened if someone didn't declare war on me. Whoops. I mean, I contributed less, but, hey, we still won. <laughs> yeah, but you guys joined, like, what? Three years late? <laughs> Y'all would have been fucked without me. All right, all right, whatever, whatever. But look at this troop count, bro. Oh my god, over 10 million troops deployed? Okay, but who actually won? Well, it definitely wasn't you. Oh, yeah. Are we going to eat dinner? Where is Zoe? She's at the library. I don't know what she wants to eat, Mom. That girl has never set foot in the library in her life. She's not at the library. <sighs> She's such a cranky old bitch. I think you should go find Zoe and ask her what she wants. Well, honey, that's what iPhones were made for. I'll just call her. <laughs> strange she left her phone here oh i forgot she's actually napping see she's asleep oh sorry mom i fell asleep well honey get on out from under the blanket you're hiding down there near jj's hoo-ha someone gonna get the wrong idea oh yeah don't want that your mamma saw that she would have thought you were lesbian that'd be so crazy and what do you want to eat for dinner jj a what now? I mean, JJ, what do you want to eat? Um, pizza is good. What do you want to eat? Um, pizza is good. Okay, bye, Mom. Close the door. This new generation is so weird. All y'all girls act like you're in love with each other. I thought we locked the door. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work. Isn't that convenient? So, did it happen? A few times. Yeah. <gasps> yes! See? I knew I was good. Okay, my turn. But this time... Solid. Wow. I'm face to face with it. Yeah? What do you think? It's pretty. Mm-hmm. It smells like... Nothing. Oh. Tastes like... Nothing. Oh, really? Maybe you should double check. Wow. I'm face to face with it. Yeah? What do you think? It's pretty. Mm-hmm. It smells like... Nothing. Oh. Tastes like... Nothing. Oh, really? Maybe you should double check. 
Still nothing. Hmm. Triple check. I think I'm just going to keep checking, just in case. Okay, that was incredible. I did it. Yeah. JJ, you're a natural. That was like literally the best I've ever had. Willy? Hmm? I feel so empowered. This is the best day of my life. Not only did I lose my virginity, but I am a sex god. <laughs> you are. Now come cuddle me, Miss Sex God. You don't even have to ask. I what about how important aftercare is. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Honey, I'm concerned about your recent weight gain. Uh, I haven't like gained weight, Mom. These are these are just like my ovaries and like intestines and stuff. Emma, you look like you've gained close to 20 pounds. Okay. What are you like saying? Like I need to like go to the gym? That's kind of ripped. Maybe. It's interesting how the weight gain is completely localized to your stomach. Must be genetics. Uncle Bill has like a beer belly. Uncle Bill is not blood related. Okay. Don't look at me like that. It's actually like really delicious. Oh boy. Abraham, your daughter is pregnant. Well, the only reason I'm single is because I actually have standards. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not like these other guys who will hook up with anything with a heartbeat. The only thing I ask for from a woman is for her to have a big butt, big boobs, pretty face, tiny waist, um, and everything needs to be natural. She needs to have a good job, be financially stable. She needs to own a house, um, a nice car. It needs to be paid off because what do you mean you're in debt? Like, that's embarrassing. She can't be a THOT. She can't go out. No bars, no clubs. Um, she needs to swallow an air tag. She can't really have any friends either because I don't want her to have bad influences in her life. I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I feel like that type of woman is the most compatible with me. Um, like, I don't really have a job right now, but I'm actively looking for one. I also don't have a car, and I do live in my mom's basement. My days pretty much just consist of sitting in the dark and playing video games and drinking gallons and gallons of Mountain Dew. I'm also built like a double wide trailer and I don't shower or own a toothbrush. But this isn't about me. This is about the type of girl that I'm looking for. You've been so MIA recently, like, I don't know, like, did I do something? Like, we used to go out every single night and get blackout, and now you, like, text me once a week. Like, what's wrong? Um, well, I did give birth, so I can't really do that anymore. Why? Just, like, bring it with you. Bring my child with me to the bar? Um, he's, like, three months old. Oh, uh, right, yeah, he's gotta be 21 to drink. Okay, no, yeah, I forgot about that. So, like, what do you, like, guys, like, do all day like what like what does it like to do it is a boy um i mean he's still a little baby so all he really does is like cry eat and sleep mainly cry oh is he a cancer i know they're like super emotional you should get him into therapy no he's not a cancer um so he cries because he's a baby and that's like what babies do oh what else does it like to do like does it like to go on tiktok no, not yet. So it can't drink and it can't go on TikTok? Dude, this thing sucks. Like I said, oh my gosh, that is hurting my ear, Raza. Wait, Miss Smith? Yes, is Chloe. Is this legit real? Because we didn't get a warning and my anxiety is through the roof right now. It doesn't matter. Let's just get okay, moving. Okay, well, I have to grab my stuff and I have to get my Duncan. It's cold outside, isn't it? I need a jacket. You don't need that stuff. We okay, need the lead. I'm walking. Lily, come by me. Hey, Chloe, don't worry. This is definitely a Jessica, drill. Jessica, don't even try to be my friend right now. I was really hoping you got burned up in the fire. Guess dreams don't come true, do they, Lily? <laughs> Guess they don't. You guys need to walk Yo, a little faster, me. okay? So cold. Of course, our school's so ghetto, ours would burn down. Wait, Miss Smith? Yes, Chloe? Has anybody seen Chatty Chat? He's not even in our classroom, well, Chloe. Well, I know that, but I need to find him and make sure he got out safely. I'm sure he's safe. And do any boys have a hoodie I can borrow? 
All right, countries, what is your country's FIFA ranking? Wait, we have a national team? I didn't even know that. <laughs> you guys are awful at football. Hey, Russia, how does it feel to be ranked lower than the U.S. at soccer? Hey, hey, be quiet. At least I don't say soccer. <laughs> Stupid. Now that's a good point right there. The Euros are going to be way too easy for us. You realize you drew against Hungary, right? Uh, y well, th they're a good team, though. Bro, we're 37th. We're not that good. Okay, now nah, I'm leaving. Whatever. Hi, y'all. Pack my daughter's lunch with me. It's very late because I was watching Love Island and oh, the time just got away from me. Too much wine. I um, forgot to record the clip, but I was making her some Logan's cucumbers. I'm just shaking that off. So this is the lunch box we got off the TikTok shop. If you want to click the little button there, but I'm just putting those right in there. I'm also going to put these Alani gummies in there as well. Now, she told me this was an old trend, but I'm doing the bell pepper with the cream cheese. And then I don't know how I'm going to fit this big Stanley, but it's full of ice and water for her tomorrow. And I'm going to put this in a little container, but I can't wait for them to go back to school. So, I'll talk to y'all later. How are me and Kendall doing? Absolutely horrible. Yep. And it's all Kendall's fault. I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to talk about this super traumatizing moment um, on national television in front of everyone. Um, I just think it's a really great time to air it out. And I will start off speaking for Kendall. So basically, Kendall was exposed. A video of his got leaked, and he lied to me about it. Um, well, no. Technically, he didn't lie about the video itself. He lied to me about who he sent it to. And truly, I think that is worse. He really traumatized me and he put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like seriously, I'm getting so much hate online. I'm getting so much backlash. People are being so rude to me. I am just so, much, so, so traumatized. Way more traumatized than Kendall. He has no idea what I'm going through. And I'm going through all of this behind closed doors and I haven't really spoken about it because I'm so embarrassed. Um, way more embarrassed than Kendall is. Hey, I miss you so much. Do you want to hang out today? Yeah. Oh my god, of course. I miss you too. Um, what do you want to do? Well, I was actually just thinking we can hang out for like 45 minutes. Like, do you think that's good? I feel like that's plenty of time to like catch up. Um, maybe grab like a quick bite. Maybe like a mark. Oh, do you have like something after that you have to go to? We can like hang out a different day if you want to hang out for like a longer time. No, no, no. Um, actually, I'm completely free. I was just thinking that's like a perfect amount of time to be social for. You want to hang out for a specific amount of time? Is that, is that normal? I'm so, sorry, what? Well, I just feel like after 45 minutes, uh, like I might start getting a little like nonverbal. So, and I don't want to put you in an uncomfortable situation where you're the only one carrying the conversation and I'm just like dying to go on my phone. So I feel like 45 minutes is plenty of time. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That works. Hey, when are we going to go to bed? Okay, I literally don't know why you keep asking us because we're clearly awake and we're not tired. So, like, if you want to go to sleep, just go to sleep. <laughs> Lily, oh my gosh. What? We're literally not even talking about you. Like, if you want to go to bed, just go to bed. Nobody's pressuring you to stay up. Oh my gosh, yeah, I know. It was so funny. That's like, oh, you guys, I'm, I'm you guys, we made her mad. She's mad. No, because oh my, my mom has literally asked you all like 15 times to be quiet and none of you are like respecting it. Like just be on your phone or something. So where's everyone sleeping? Um, well, only two people can be in this bed. So me and Lily and everybody else is going to have to sleep on the floor because that's like too crowded and I'm claustrophobic as is. And that's just going to give me so much anxiety. I'm already having like a lot because you guys are stressing me out and you're not doing like everything I'm asking of you. So like I just I have to be in control. You guys are stressing me out. Oh, Chad's FaceTiming me, so, like, can everybody, like, get out? Because, like, I need an intimate moment with my boyfriend. Like, you guys wouldn't understand because you don't have boyfriends, but, like, yeah. But, like, Lily, you can stay because, like, you know Chad. Everybody else has to go, though. Oh, my gosh, let's watch a movie in the movie room. That'll be no, so No, we're not doing that because nobody wants to do that. Do you guys want to do that? Yeah, like, nobody wants to do that. It's literally lame. We're not doing that. Good morning, you guys. Oh my gosh, my Stanley's not even facing the right way. I can't have people think I have one from like five below. It literally says Stanley. Anyways, like I was saying, good morning, guys. Today, my mom literally is on my last freaking nerve. 
he told me no more going to Sephora this whole week. Hence the freaking toilet paper roll that's supposed to be curling my curtain bangs right now. I literally had to block Chatty Chad from my TikTok page so that he doesn't see me like this. Because uh, I really don't know how I'm going to survive this week. My mom literally had the nerve to tell me that they had curtain bangs before we had curtain bangs and she knows how to style them. They did it just like this. Didn't know my mom was from the 1900s. And my mom literally said she grew up without Sephora and I was like, oh my god, that's why you're so freaking bitter all the time. She said she survived. Uh, clearly she didn't. She's like ugly they didn't have retinol why are you facetiming me i told you multiple times i don't want to talk to you why because uh i don't have to give you a reason okay just like respect my boundaries can you just tell are me you fine it's because i'm mad at you what did i do <laughs> like you don't even know okay so you know how you were over my house the other day yeah you got up to go to the bathroom while i scrolled on your phone wait what shut up okay i had this suspicion Okay, I had this gut feeling that something was going on. So yes, I went through your phone like any good girlfriend would. I went through your Instagram and I saw your top searches and Summer Ray's name was there. So like obviously I was curious. So I clicked on her profile and I saw that you liked multiple bikini pictures of her. Now you know how she makes me feel. Like I'm so insecure already and that just like made me way more insecure about myself. No, that's practically cheating. You know what? You don't have a girlfriend anymore, Chad, so you don't have to worry about it. Go slide into Summer Ray's DMs for all I care. All right, bet. I was thinking maybe we should get some Taco Bell. I don't think you're going to go to the gates of hell. Why do you say that? You shouldn't talk like that. And then I found out that Jason was actually cheating on me the entire relationship. Mm -hmm. With the girl that he told me was his cousin. So. Wait, who's selling their limbs on Facebook Marketplace? Is it someone I know? I actually really like this song. Wait, who sings it? You're wearing a thong? Okay. I don't really know how to respond to that. I mean, good for you. So proud of you. You're so brave. I appreciate it. Thank you. But no, I actually said I really like the song. You really like being strong? Yeah. No, that's amazing. Like, I'm so happy for you. Ever since you've been going to the gym, I swear you have like a different glow to you. I think you sat in something because it looks like there's something on your butt, like a huge stain. And it's the color brown. Oh my god, really? When are you going out of town? Why didn't you tell me? Where are you going? Alright countries, how many World Cup trophies have you won? With Messi on your team, it doesn't seem like you'll be winning any international trophies soon. Well, at least we've been in a World Cup final th that we shanked, but you've never even been in a final before. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> they had to cancel two World Cups over a war we started. We have five. I'm telling you, it's way too easy out here. Remember back in 2014? You know what? I'm not even going to explain it. Remember these numbers? I swear, if you bring that up one more time. What is that in your hand? A pen? Your Benjamin? That's so childish. Seriously, you're still using those things? What are we, in 8th grade? Don't you know how bad those are for you? They're filled with pesticides. And you're just willingly inhaling that into your body? Oh my god, your poor lungs. Me? I mean, I know I've been vaping since 5th grade. But we're not talking about me. We're talking about you and you inhaling harmful pesticides. Why don't you just use the real deal? Like, I don't get it. Does that thing even get you floating? I bet you're not even halfway to Saturn. See, if you were using the real deal, you would already be on Saturn. You would be the president of Saturn. Don't those things give you insane brain rot? They, like, burn off all your brain cells? You're probably already on the verge of being brain dead, huh? Yeah, it could never be me. No, I'm not, like, hating on you or anything. I just think it's really stupid for you to be using those things. Yeah, like, seriously, grow up. You're such a child. You're so mature. Hey, before I go, do you mind if I hit it just one time just to see what it's like? Will not I go sleep on the streets? Plenty of drugs and sex for me there anyway. Emma, can you use your brain cells for like two seconds, please, and just be rational? You're right. I'll go stay at Dad's. You wouldn't. I would. Please, how about this? Let's make a deal. Okay, deal. I haven't told you anything yet. No deal. This is your old realistic baby doll. It poops, pees, cries, does all the normal things a baby would do. I remember. She like pooped and I did not want to clean it, so I like put her in the basement. That was like 10 years ago. We're off to a great start. 
But listen, if you can keep this thing fed, clean, and alive for a week, then you can move forward with your pregnancy and I'll help you. Deal. If you can keep this thing fed, clean, and alive for a week, then you can move forward with your pregnancy and I'll help you. Deal. But if you kill her or lose her, you're getting the abortion. I'm not worried because I know that won't happen. Hi, baby star. You're like so cute. You named a star? And yeah, because she's a star, like her mommy. You gave your baby a stripper name? I'm just trying to set her up for success. Where did I go wrong? Okay, well, I have a date. I'll be back in like a few hours. Emma. Oh, what? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, condoms, duh. Wait, I'm already like pregnant. I meant your stripper baby. I meant to leave her there. I like wanted you to watch her. It's fine if you don't want to. Come on, Star. Grandma doesn't want to watch you. Please use a condom. You can still get STDs. I might as well just call the clinic now. Brittany, you're late. Yo! Where's Gwen and Tiffany? They're not, don't say it. They're not, oh no. Where are you going? I was never here. You kiss your mother with that mouth? I kiss yours. Melody, I understand school has just started and you may not know the rules. I know the rules. I always study the syllabus just in case there's a pop quiz. Mm. Well, that's good. In that case, did you know what I was going to get on to you about? Yeah, the eating. So that means I don't need to tell you to discard it since you already know the rules. Well, I won't be doing that. We don't need another Britney. Please don't compare me to other people that I don't care about. I'm just trying to save your skin. And how would you be doing that? What if the principal just so happens to walk into the classroom and see an unconscious student laying there on the ground? Laying from starvation, you will be on the cover of every newspaper journal titled Teacher allowed her student to starve over a protein bar. Be sure to throw the wrapper away, okay? Of course. For more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, link in bio for more. Brittany, what are the rules about drinking in class? Do you think if I knew the rules, we'd be having this conversation? Yes. And why is that? Because you don't follow the rules. And why is that? I'll let Gwen answer it for you since you've gone to mute. She doesn't give two fudge sickles. Gwen is too nice. I don't give She's two fudge. Step out of my classroom. Don't mind if I do. And I will be calling your mom. Call her! I was late! And she doesn't work his mother. If this is the damn debt collectors, I paid my hospital bill last week. It's not Apple. Show. Sure. You've already had one. Ma'am, this is Brittany's teacher. Why the hell is Brittany's teacher calling me at work? Did she not tell you I'm at well, work? Well, ma'am, she. Yeah, my mom told Just her. I'm Brittany. I know you're not causing trouble for the folks at school. I'm not. She is, ma'am. for another hour. She's your problem, not mine. Until 3 p.m. But, ma'am. So don't call this number again. How? Oh. You heard her. All right, countries, how many Olympic games has your country hosted? Have we hosted none? It's been over 100 years. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the entire African continent has never hosted the Olympics. Hey, like the UK, we've also hosted three. We've hosted three, but we're going to host our fourth this year. Uh, are you trying to, like, one-up me or something? We've hosted the most Olympic games in total, no doubt. Yeah, what'd you say? What'd you say? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I take that back. Yeah, that's what I thought. So in today's... So in today's... So, so, so in, so in, so in today's lesson, we're going to be learning, Brittany, what? If you're going to smack gum in my class, I'm going to need you to spit it out. That's Sarah smacking the gum, babe. Sweetie, please don't smack the gum. <laughs> I love how she said it politely to her. Anyways, turn the pages. Okay, Sarah. I got this. Wait, I'll stop. Too late for that. Yo, there's my key. Really? Hey. 
Stop looking at me. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. Link in bio for more. Brittany, what's the answer to the problem? Did anyone see me raise my hands? Yeah, no. So I'm not answering. Good luck. <laughs> this is an easy question. You should know this one. Ugh. Two. No, it's four. <laughs> Come on now, stop teasing or I'll be calling on you next. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ho! Yes! 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 Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> now laugh at me again, ho! And this is for all of y'all. What just happened? For more videos, subscribe to me. You know, I can buy you for more. Sarah, get up. But I always sat here. I'm not gonna ask again. Girls, get situated. Class is about to start. Hmm. You know what? That's my seat. And I'm sitting in it. Don't go in my closet. Just let me look. Why can't you just be nice to me for once? Please let me borrow this. Put I it back. I promise I won't ruin it. Put it back. I promise. Put it back. Can we go get food, please? No, no, I'm not going to make you pay this time. I promise. I pinky swear. If you let me borrow this one time, I will never ask ever again to borrow anything from you. I swear. No. Hey, everyone pass in your college papers. Brittany, you didn't write anything here. What did you want to go to college? Maybe it's because she's still in high school. Oh! <laughs> Girl, I brought my grades up. I'm definitely passing on all of that. It's just who has time for a student loan debt? Not me. And Miss Edna, I wanted to go to Harvard. Like, I want to become an actor or something, you know? This is actually a good time to listen up. It looks like there'll be student loan debt relief for over 30 million Americans. So Girl, that's insane. One of them. It looks like I'm going to college. For those who aren't interested in college, our admin is increasing apprenticeships in trades and good paying jobs that don't require a college degree. Wait, that's so cool. Maybe I'll try out construction instead. Yeah, the current administration clean energy plan has resulted in millions of jobs in manufacturing, administration, and clean energy implantation. Many of which that don't require a college degree. There's something out there for everyone. The fact that they're thinking about raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour, hmm. That's something to think about. Yeah, you can head over to American Progress for more about student debt relief or those clean energy jobs that you can snack without a college degree. They'll get you right about what's happening in the economy and how it's affecting students like us. Babes, I think you sat in something. There's something on your butt. It's like a big stain. It's brown. Looks like caca. Did you poop yourself? Did you just say my butt is fat? Stop. Oh my god, stop. You are too freaking kind. I have been going to the gym. <laughs> it is a little fat, isn't it? Yeah. It's got like a little jiggle to it or whatever. Yeah. Um, it said that your card declined. What's the time? Um, my phone's dead and I don't know how to read my watch. So I don't know. Sorry. Oh my god, careful. Watch your feet. There's a rat right there. 
did you just call me a brat? Oh my god, stop. Am I actually being a brat? But it's brat summer, you know what I mean? Like, I can be a brat if I want to. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think Jason is cheating on you. I saw him with some other girl, and she was, like, getting in his car. He was opening the door for her. Jason has been treating me so well. Oh my god, I know. He is perfect. Seriously, like, I could not have asked for a better guy. He takes care of me all the time. He treats me so well. You're right, I'm glad you've noticed. You can come inside. I didn't expect you guys to move out this far. Had a hard time tracking you guys. I mean, nice floors. <laughs> Is that Karen in my house? Hell no. Does this neighborhood have an HOA? Because this house compared to your last. I'm guessing your mother allowed you guys to get evicted. Honey, if you ever need help. Can I get the hell out of my house? Ah! Let's see, come here, that's the wind for you. Ah! I'm calling the cops! Calm them, Dan. Calm them. You got me elk up in my house. shower this morning nobody saw you take a shower actually no one ever sees you take a shower do not play with me we both know you go dates without showering what's with all this commotion Brittany's musty Brittany get in the shower you just gonna take his word I already took now Brittany, what are you doing? Showering? Mama! Mom? Where's my phone? I don't know. I set it right here. Damn it! Where did you last go? In the kitchen? Well, well, I literally just set it down. And I'm pretty sure you actually saw me set it down because you asked for the time. Hey, Brittany, what time is it? Uh, it's 12 o'clock. Oh, I have to go to the restaurant. Mm. You know what? I hit it. Ugh. You've been on that phone way too much. Messing up your eyes. <coughs> you need to be up here this time with family. That's what's up with our generation now. And you ain't gonna find it. Yeah, find better hiding spots. Oh! Mom has officially gone insane. What do you mean? You haven't noticed she's been on her phone for hours? No. Let me put it this way. Have you noticed she hasn't been calling us to do things like chores? Oh, gee, yeah. Let's take a look. She's been like that for three days. Don't. Mom, what are you doing? I've been playing Block Blast. Can you not tell? Oh, that one I did in game? Yes. Block Blast is a perfect mix of creativity and the classics. It has very simple control, amazing sound effects, and 
a great rhythm. Yeah, Block West is also an excellent time killer. Really? You've been playing for three days straight. I have. Let me walk around and see if the house is clean. At least we had a break. How did your date go with that one guy that you said you were going to go out with? Oh my god, amazing. It was like one of the best first dates I've ever been on. Seriously, it was perfect. Oh my god, yay. I'm so happy for you. I'm assuming there's going to be a second date. Oh no, I actually ghosted him. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I thought you said it went really well. What happened? Well, like the date itself went really well. And then when we were leaving the restaurant, um, the second that we stepped outside, it literally started thundering and storming and pouring so hard. So I just like took that as a sign from Mother Nature that he's like no good. You know, he's just like a massive red flag. You ghosted him because the weather was bad? What do you mean? It's literally a sign from the sky. Like, there could not be a more obvious sign not to go out with this guy ever again. Matter of fact, the second that we stepped out of the restaurant and started downpouring, I literally sprinted the other direction, like, full speed. Like, I turned into a track star. And then I just went home and blocked his number, and I never talked to him ever again. Right. Okay. No, yeah, that totally makes sense. Never thought I'd be in love like this. So what kind of music do you like to listen to? My music taste is all over the place. Honestly, I don't really have like a specific genre that I like to stick to, but one of my favorite artists is Lana Del Rey. Do you know who that is? Do I know who that is? You have no idea. We have so much in common. Lana Del Rey is my favorite artist of all time. Oh, it's actually Lana Del Rey? Yeah, that's like what I said. No, but seriously, like she makes some really great music. Yeah, she really does. Um, what are like some of your favorite songs? Uh, you know that one, um, that's like, Summertime Sadness. Yeah, uh, I do know that song. Um, any other ones? There's just so many good ones, like, I can't even, I can't even begin to, like, categorize them, you know? That would be, like, that would be a crime to rank Lana Del Fey songs. Well, come on, like, what's one more that you love? You know, enough about me. Let's talk more about you. Um, what color is it? Sorry? Sorry, sorry, um, I meant to say, what's your favorite color? I really don't want to do any cleaning while I'm getting off from work. <sighs> Thank you, girls, for having me clean. Girl, that's what friends are for. Well, I low-key didn't want to. Girl, well, you didn't have any other choice. You're in my house. Your mother's house? Oh! Ah! Four plus four. Eight. Y'all will be walking home. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Mom. Hey, Miss Dubois. Now you still gonna hurt Miss Dubois. <laughs> it's respect. I see the house clean. It is. It's probably clean because Brittany doesn't want to get her behind me in front of her friends. Because best to believe, I've jerked her through this house many times back and forth. After she'll tell you she don't know how to clean up behind herself. All she can do is scream for help. And nobody came. <laughs> oh my. And she's still keeping that room dirty. One time I went into her room and I saw a pair of drawers on the floor with, okay, mom, you're doing the absolute most. You are showing out. Let's not talk about your car. Ooh. For part two, search me, you should tell them they can buy you for more. Where is she going? Hell if I know. She probably realized she's a hypocrite. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if she's getting in the vacuum to clean out her car. Because now she's trying to clock me. You might want to quiet down. She might hear you. Who gives two flying foot signals if she hears me? She's doing the absolute most. She knew exactly what she was doing. No one's dumb. And no one's embarrassed. Who not embarrassed? Mom, mom. Who not embarrassed? That's right. I'm the mother. Now I will show up for your friends. Get off my couch. Oh my I told y'all to take a little bit high up, and she still hasn't learned. Now get him clean up that room. Hmm. See, this is what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay. Thank you. Enjoy your day. You too, Poppy. You too, Poppy. What you trying to get into?
how are you handling the breakup? Like, are you doing okay? Surprisingly, I'm doing a lot better than I expected. But I feel like what's been helping me the most is kind of just like remembering all the things that he would do. And they're kind of just like giving me the ick now. And it's like grossing me out, you know? Oh my god, really? Like, what are some of the things that he would do? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Oh yeah, I don't mind. I'll tell you. So like one of the things would be um, how he didn't take showers regularly. He would only take a shower, I think, once a week. And then when he would take a shower, he would never use any soap or like body wash. Um, just because he says that's like too girly and he's very masculine, so he doesn't believe in using soap. And then when he would take his weekly shower, he would only be in there for approximately like 30 seconds to a minute. Mainly because he said that taking showers would take time away from him playing video games and taking a shower just felt unproductive when he could rather be playing video games. He also didn't really brush his teeth. He only brushed them like, I don't know, maybe once every couple of weeks. Are you joking? How did you like put up with the smell? Well, when we would kiss, I would just hold my breath so I couldn't really smell his. And then if his body odor was really bad, I would just use my shirt and just, like, cover my nose with it. Hey, do you mind if I borrow a top from you? I just spilled all over mine. Oh my god, of course not. Um, do you want, like, a t-shirt, a tank top? No, actually, do you have a black oversized hoodie? I mean, yeah, I do, but it's 90 degrees out. Are you sure that's what you want? Oh my god, yeah, no, I'm totally fine. I'm actually completely used to wearing um, thick layers of clothing all year round because Jason actually doesn't allow me to wear anything revealing because he doesn't like me being dressed like a T-H-O-T. So, do you have a hoodie that I can borrow? Um, We're not going anywhere, though. Like, we're just staying at my house, so it's not like we're going to be, like, outside. Do you just want a t-shirt? I mean, it's not like he's going to find out. Oh, no, trust me. He will find out, and I don't want to start a fight, okay? We've been good for three hours and 27 minutes, and I do not want to ruin that. How would he find out? Oh, he has my location. Oh, look, he's looking through that window right there. Hey, babe. Do you want to hang out today? I have the day off. Oh, I would, but I can't. I have so many errands. I have to run. Like, my day is so busy. Oh, okay, so that's all I have to do is just run errands. Yeah, but I have, like, a lot of stuff I need to get done. I need to take my dog to the groomers. I need to go to the grocery store. I have a gynecologist appointment. I have to get an oil change. I have to get gas. I have to clean out my car. That's pretty much everything, but it's going to take up, like, my entire day. Um, so, I mean, we can probably hang out maybe, like, next Thursday. I should be off then. Well, why don't I just come with you? What do you mean? Come with me where? To run your errands. Why don't I just come with you and, like, help you run your errands? Um, well, why would you want to do that? Why would I not want to do that? Do you want to go to the gynecologist with me and to the grocery store and to clean my car to get an oil change? There is nothing in this world I would want to do on my day off than to go to the gynecologist, the grocery store, the groomers, and to get your oil changed. Nothing. There's nothing I would rather do. So what are you looking for, like, dating-wise? Are you interested in pursuing a relationship, or are you kind of just, like, casually dating, not really looking for anything serious? I'm not really, like, totally sure on what exactly I want. Mainly, I just want someone that I can, like, spend a lot of time with, you know? Um, I work from home, so my job can get kind of lonely. And, um, yeah, I just want someone who can be dependable and constantly available and just like fun, interesting, and can keep me company. I also really want to go on dates. I love being spontaneous and, you know, having fun little adventures. Um, so I want someone to always be available for that. And most importantly, someone that I can fall asleep next to at night. And I obviously want them to be loyal. I don't want them to see anyone else but me. But I'm also not looking for anything serious. You know, I, I'm not ready to settle down. My whole life is ahead of me. I just want something casual, fun, um, I don't really know the word for it, you know, just kind of like a fling. Hey, is it okay if I borrow that pink top that you have? Yeah, of course. Is it okay if I also borrow the white shoes that you had, like the sandal ones with the wedge, if you're not gonna wear them? I just have like a really cute, like, vision for the outfit. I was gonna do like that pink top and then like a really cute skirt and then those sandals. 
that would be so cute yeah of course you can borrow those just make sure you bring them back the same way that i gave them to you because they're white oh my god of course girl don't even worry about it i'll bring them back the exact same way that you gave them to me also um just one more thing i'm sorry can i use that fenty lip gloss that you have um like the one that's kind of like pinky oh no i'm sorry um i just like don't really like to share lip products so sorry wait what are you kidding yeah no i'm sorry um i don't know i just like i'm kind of weird about that stuff like i just wouldn't feel comfortable sharing lip products so you're trying to say i'm gross girl no that's not what i'm saying at all i'm just saying i don't like sharing lip products i wouldn't even drink out of someone else's straw So before I overreact and jump to conclusions, I want to talk to you about something because I'm sure you have a perfectly good and reasonable excuse to the question that I'm about to ask. Ugh, what now? Right, um, so I just wanted to ask, last night when I was sleeping, I randomly woke up at like 2 in the morning and I decided to check your location and it said that you were in some random parking lot for like an entire hour. Your location didn't move or anything, so just confused what you were doing oh my god i have no privacy you don't even trust me you literally don't even trust me like why are we even together um well you still haven't answered what you were doing i wasn't even doing anything i was just with my friend oh okay no problem yeah that's completely fine what friend was it why do you need to know everything this is so annoying it was one of my old friends her name's lily we we're just having a deep conversation in the back seat. I wasn't cheating on you, it was an accident. Do you need a ride tonight? No, I'm actually good. I think I'll just Uber. No, I insist. Let me give you a ride. I'm not gonna be drinking tonight, so I'm just gonna DD. You can just ride with me. I mean, are you sure? Do you want me to like give you gas money or something? No, 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 you're fine. My parents actually just filled my tank, so you're good. I'll just take you for free. Okay, cool. Sounds good. So actually, after further consideration, I um, I don't know how to, like, ask this without being weird, but do you mind just, like, Venmoing me, um, some money for gas? Because, you know, I took you, and it kind of took a lot of gas, so if you could just, like, Venmo me back that money, that would be great. Okay, um, yeah, no, that's fine, I get it. How much do you want me to Venmo you? Well, we only use, like, a quarter tank of gas, but honestly, if you want to just, like, Venmo me for half a tank... That would be even better, just like as a courtesy, because I offered to take you. Didn't you say that your parents fill your tank? So I'm just paying interest, technically? That's what this is? My Venmo is 